Hey my lovelies, I hope you're all safe and well. It's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do April's tarot scope um, reading for us all. I say it all the time, can't believe we're in April already. And where's the sun? I'm getting so fed up of this wet, rainy, horrible weather. I don't know about you guys, but my sort of spirit, my soul is really missing and needing the energy of the sun now. So yeah, it's a bit annoying. So I'm praying that April, we start to get some better quality weather. I'm hoping we can start to get a proper spring and have some beautiful uh, sunshine. That would be amazing, if so. So what do I need to talk to you about? Well, first of all, let's do the tarot scope. Then I'm gonna fill you in with a couple of things that are happening through April time. April actually is quite a magical month for me. There's quite a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, that I want to make you guys aware of. But first, let's do the uh, the read. So as ever, I'm going to work with Tarot of the Old Path. So we'll do uh, opportunities for April, any obstacles that may present themselves, and general lessons to be learnt. We will then follow through with a, a conclusion card from my Wizard Within Oracle deck. And hopefully this will all make a little bit of sense for us. So these are the cards for the tarot. Let's give them a knock, let's give them a shuffle. So asking the cards for the highest of good for our opportunities, our obstacles and our lessons. we got some stuff. We have got some stuff going on. This is interesting. All right. Oops. I'll know when because it will just be one that throws itself at me. Oops, that's too many. It was like a handful there. We don't want a handful. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I really get the sense and the feeling as I look at these cards that we may get some tricky behaviour this month. We may get some energies that really test us. And, you know, I've done like sort of Monday guidance reading for this week already. And we talked in that about the Ten of Wands, which was about sort of deburdening, distressing. But the way these cards are looking for April time, I think we've got to be aware, aware of shady shit, crappy energy, people that are maybe coming at us with hidden agenda um, or just kind of icky energy because as we're going into our opportunities we're going into the king of swords now when the king of swords shows he's really coming in to defend his kind of kingdom so the sword is there for personal protection um, and it's also there for disconnection as well so the king of um, you know swords he wants to sort of rule he wants to protect his kingdom in the ways that he needs to, in the ways that he sees fit to do so. So it may be because this is coming in as our opportunities, some of us might really have to be putting some quite personal boundaries in place this month. And it might feel at first a little bit unnatural or a little bit uncomfortable, but do it because you guys have worked really hard to kind of create the lifestyles, the world that you've got. And you don't want sort of outsiders or people coming in with hidden agenda or expectation to come and rock the boat, to come and um, cause a bit of a sort of stir with stuff, you know. So to me, this, this king wants to rule his kingdom independently. He knows his actions. He knows his choices. He knows why he does the things that he has to do. So I really feel like, you know, for the king to succeed and live his best life, sometimes he does have to sort of, you know, use the sword in a way to sort of protect his assets, to protect his kingdom. Um, so yeah, don't let anybody sort of tarnish the essence of you. Don't let anybody tarnish what you've built up, how your kingdom currently is in your own personal world. I just get the real sense here of like almost like the energy of a battle might be looming a little bit, which is interesting because as we're moving into our sort of second card, we're going into um, the Seven of Rods, which is the equivalent of Seven of Wands in conventional tarot. Now, this is coming in as our obstacles. So when this card shows, this is all about sort of people that maybe have 
hidden agenda. They may actually be quite backstabby. They may be quite poisonous. They may be quite toxic. It's that whole sort of uh, feeling of a wolf in sheep's clothing. So they may be on the front of things seeming very lovely, very genuine, but underneath there could be some foul play at work. So I really feel like there is a, a need to go careful, really feel into your sort of psychic antennae, your psychic intuition throughout the month of April time. And if something feels off, if something doesn't feel right, even if you want to see the good in that person or circumstance or situation, if you're getting a feeling that feels a bit cautious or a bit wary, do pay attention because the seven of rods is kind of known for people that are like sort of wanting to get one over on you or trying to perhaps stir a bit of trouble behind the scenes or just being a bit of an arsehole really and you know we don't have time for that we don't need that energy we don't have time for that drama we've got too much other stuff going on we want to stay fabulous we just haven't got time to entertain crap rubbish dramatic energy lesser energy essentially so to me like these rods are sort of forming as a wall of protection so keeping all the great stuff in keeping all the magic or the, or the beautiful stuff in but kind of getting all the crap or the icky stuff out okay so there is a bit of a focus to be very cautious very careful with the company you keep you keep the collaborations of people you're working with if there are people that you wouldn't usually work with but you might be collaborating with for a project um I don't know, something that you're both going to attending could be a fair, could be a demo, could be a workshop, could be some sort of working thing. Just tread with care, just tread with caution. See the truth of people's actions and behaviours. And if it's lesser, if it's not really giving you what you seek or want, don't put up with it. That's what I'm going to say with that. Our lessons. Three of Swords. So Three of Swords is always quite hard when it shows because it's a card which sometimes represents heartache, loss, sorrow. Sometimes when we invest our energy into someone and sometimes when we're really rooting for somebody and then they sort of hurt us or they fail us or they let us down, it can be very uncomfortable. It can be very upsetting. But I think it's remembering even if you're going through some heartache, some hardship, some home truths perhaps, the heart can actually heal, the heart can mend again. So in conventional tarot, this is usually like the big sort of red heart with the three daggers or swords going in. Um, but this is their pictation of this card. So yeah, it can represent disappointment. It can be quite confusing as well when someone hurts us or when someone lets us down, particularly when we don't really know what we've actually done, you know. And it can be, sometimes it can feel a bit like a living grief, can't it? when, you know, we have to then sort of move people out of our life because of their actions or because of their behaviour and not always getting that clarity or not getting that closure. But I suppose what I feel with the lesson of this is you know what you've brought to the table. You know the essence of your energy was real, was genuine in those moments and with those connections. And if people have almost... um Sorry, I've got really itchy nose because my guide just stepped in very close. Um, if people have hurt you or let you down or, you know, just, just come at you with hidden agenda, it says more about their character than yours. And it's a real shame. But, you know, the heart can heal beyond that pain, beyond that trauma, even though it might feel quite traumatic in those moments. But I suppose in terms of lessons, it's just you know, being honest, being truthful with yourself, knowing that you were giving genuine energy, even if it wasn't being received. So I do think we've got to tread with a bit of care this month, guys, because I just think there might be some sort of shady shit at play, to be honest. Um, so what we'll do, we'll follow through with one of my Wizard Within Oracles and see if we get a little bit more. Let's just see if the uh, the message becomes a bit more clear as an overall theme or outcome or conclusion of reading it's quite interesting for all those cards to be like bang 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 that really really does tell quite a story because sometimes you get one card that might be indicating that but when you get a collection like that there is something that's going to be quite yeah it's going to be quite interesting it's going to be just quite I don't even know how to describe it really, but there's just a sense and a feeling of just really having 
to tread with care, to tread with caution, just really protecting yourself, to be honest, particularly with that card, you know. Um, and the theme kind of continues. So we're going into the Dark Wizard. Now, the Dark Wizard, again, this is this theme of like wolf in sheep's clothing. Dark Wizard can feel very mystical, very magical, can be very flamboyant. There can be this real energy where we just want to be around the dark wizard because you know it's like that forbidden fruit they feel very tempting they feel very interesting and intriguing but essentially it's dark arts it's black magic it's negativity it's self-serving energy i think is the key with this so the dark wizard serves only himself he's not a team player he's not interested in the sort of um, bigger picture. He's not interested in everybody sort of doing well and everybody kind of coming together. He, he's out for himself, essentially. So again, this theme of sort of, you know, negativity or sort of crappy energy is kind of continuing. So do tread with care, do tread with caution, because it's probably going to happen from the people you would least expect it from. And this is the sad part when this card shows, and, and all of these cards really are indicating, you know, there may be people in our life that we would expect, you know, it may be to come from, and we would expect maybe they might let us down. But I think what's going to be quite uncomfortable with this is this might come from people that you've really invested in on quite a deep level, forged friendships and everything else, whether it's work colleagues, whether it's friends, family members, whoever, and they really may sort of drop the ball. They really may sort of um, deceive us a little bit or they might just really, really kind of show their true colours. And it might be quite ugly. It might be quite uncomfortable to have to see and witness that. But, you know, you can obviously overcome the energies of Dark Wizard by staying in your own magic, by staying in your own vibration. But I think it's always disappointing when we see people um that sort of you know kind of throw us under the bus that's, that's kind of how the dark wizard is like i say self-serving so is deception you know i mean the key words on this card i'm just looking yeah deception anger evil danger um just not nice shady shit basically so have your wits about you this month sorry guys april like looks like it's going to be really dramatic so don't go looking for any of this stuff i will say but if it comes to the surface if you see it happening just be aware i'm going to pick a second card i don't normally do this but i'm just going to pick a second card on what we have to do if we come up against that in terms of how do we respond how do we deal with that really Okay, interesting. So we've got the wizard's hat. So the wizard's hat is about you celebrating yourself, being true to yourself. It says pride there. And this is about sort of not giving away your power, not allowing these lower level energies to get the better of you. Keep shining, staying fabulous. Um, this is a card of graduation, gratitude and being yourself, you know. So it might well be that by being yourself, it upsets and it irritates some people's demons. This is like good, triumphanting over evil. So this is quite interesting. So I think it might be a bit of a roller coaster month for us guys. So hold on tight is all I'm gonna say. So, so that's the read. I hope you can make sense of it. Just wanna say a couple of quicky, ugh, a couple of quick, quick cheeky shouts. So Saturday the 6th of April, we have my Witches Market in Westbury, Wiltshire, which is a free entry event, 11 o'clock until 4.30. Please come along, please get involved. Uh, it would be great to see you, whether it's just for a short time or if you want to stay for a bit longer or whatever, that would be amazing. Um, it's going to be such a cool day. I've been asked, inundated by people, can I bring back the Witches Markets because I took a little break from those, so they are back. The second thing I want to talk to you about, on my tour, the tour bus this month is coming to the King's Theatre in Gloucester. I have been getting asked for the longest of time, when are you going to come back to Gloucester? It's been ages since you demoed. This is your opportunity. Saturday the 27th of April, I am going to be back in Gloucester, the King's Theatre. It would be absolutely great if you could come and support that venue. It's a beautiful little theatre. It really does need um, a bit more support because like a lot of small theatres, they were hit hard with times of COVID and everything else and they're sort of re-getting their bearings. So please come along, please buy a ticket, please support that if you are in the area or if that's a doable 
one to travel to. That would be great. And also, just to give you a heads up, Saturday the 4th of May, which is not too far after, I will be demoing over in Wing Canton War Mem Memorial Hall um, space. So please buy a ticket for Wing Canton if that's also local for you guys. It would be great to see you there. It's another new location for me in terms of demos. I've done some beautiful fairs there, but first time for a demo. So support the tour. Please, please, please buy a ticket. It would be amazing. Um, and yeah, just some beautiful nights with spirit, which are going to be awesome. So have a beautiful April. Look after yourselves. Definitely tread with care and caution. Going to leave it with you. Keep shining. Stay fabulous. Remember the key message. If there are shady energies or behaviours, a person can only have power over us if we buy into that experience. So vibrate higher than the injustice, than the sort of dodginess, than the crap of Dark Wizard, basically, is the key to overcoming that energy. So I'm going to leave it with you. Have a beautiful April and I will connect and see some of you guys very soon. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.